And believe me, this is just as fun as it looks. So what do we do with $10 million? Until I can figure that out, it's going in the bank. Fun fact, these ATMs can give you more than $100. Well, let's spend $118,000 to further our education because as it is, we're not even working at the hospital. But if we are, we're only making $200 an hour. That's not good enough. All it takes to get our degree is 1,000 of these. Hey, look at that. After only one day, we're 1% of the way there. So let's do it all again. We're gonna load up on pizza and a bunch of other stuff and grind our way through education. I should also really pay attention to things like these ATMs that are conveniently right here. That way you don't run all the way back to the bank every single time. Maybe since you're convenient, we'll help Ellie out. Yeah, what's up? Hey, some dumb jerk ran into me and all my papers went flying everywhere. Not seeing how this is my problem, Ellie. If you can find any of my pages, could you bring them back to me? Yeah, absolutely. That sounds like something I'd be mildly interested in. And believe it or not, we ran out of Adderall. We need more of this. And by more, I mean like a thousand of them. You know what? Close enough for me. 973 of them. And we're even gonna walk all the way back to find that idiot's missing cages. Apparently they blew all over the world. And you know what? While we're at it, we're actually gonna get the better bed. That way we can wake up three hours earlier. That's three more hours of education we can get. And the alarm clock. And maybe the microwave, refrigerator, steel fridge, and deluxe fridge. That's what happens when you have too much money. You just buy a bit of everything. I think this way we'll wake up earlier. And with a lot more energy. Provided we stock with groceries or something? Let's go figure that out. Groceries. Gain energy when you sleep or use to cook. Requires refrigerator. Good, I bought like eight of those. Can you believe we've already spent almost a hundred thousand dollars and I haven't done anything? I did like three days of education. In 500 days will be enough to do whatever it is I'm doing. Extra credit plus one class points. Wow, what a difference that's gonna make. A random event earned me 0.1%. I better not be able to wake up before class even starts. 5 a.m. I actually do, which is annoying because every day before I do anything, I'm gonna have to get up, eat a Wonka bar. It'll give me a little bit of extra energy, but it takes a lot of time just to do that. But that's all right, because guess who's got way too much time on their hands. And I forgot about the NZT48. We're also gonna need probably a thousand of these because I just might as well maximize things. And already, I'm officially out of money for the 120,000 whatever I took. No more left. We gotta go get more. Curiously, our number of money has gone up despite the fact that we're making 0% per day. Oh, over 10 million. It doesn't give you interest anymore so as long as i keep withdrawing some to keep it under 10 million we're good and then on the bright side i get to do even more clicking i guess regarding money then it is worth it to use the stock market once you hit 10 million dollars if you don't want to withdraw every day also we have house loans small house big house mansion for now i'm gonna pay off those two we still owe on the mansion but i'm gonna wait to recuperate my current losses till i do the mansion which leaves 9.3 million in the bank gaining 0.1 percent interest which should be ninety three thousand dollars. and good news now i'm not allowed to go to sleep here is it because i own a house I may have just made a very terrible mistake. Hello? Somebody? I need somewhere to sleep tonight. Apparently paying off your house means you can't sleep in the dorm anymore. Hi dad, I'm gonna sleep in your house again. I really hope I didn't screw that up. Unless I was just out of money. $200,000 on me, 9.2 in the bank. That should recuperate back up to 10 million within 10, 12 days, something like that. It let us sleep back in the dorm again, so we must have just been out of money. Very, very relieved about that. Because now I can get back to clicking. It is now day 1086. My money's probably back up. Nope, it is not. We're still only at 9.4 million, which is kind of suspicious. I thought it would be higher by now. All right, day 1100, we're up to 9.5 million. So there's something off about the interest for sure. I'm still making money, but I'm definitely not actually making 0.1% per day. And here it goes, our doctorate. Finally. Really hope there's nothing after that. I wonder if that means you get a promotion at the hospital. Hospital, I'm a doctor now. Give me more stuff. $200 an hour and that's all. Same as it ever was. Well, are we back up to $10 million so I can pay off my mansion at least? We are not quite there yet, and I'm gonna let that regenerate all the way up to $10 million because I really need to take advantage of interest no more than ever. What I do really need from the internet though is more steroids. I gotta build up my strength as quick as possible because that's really important for a doctor. As many as I can possibly afford. Have some more of that good old fashioned protein, probably a thousand of these. And now the spinach, a thousand of these. And done. Now it's just all about that gym life. Level 55, that means we get a promotion. We'll check in on that tomorrow to see exactly how much we make. Hopefully it's the big bucks. Practical nurse, $300 an hour. So we did get a $100 an hour raise. We're still not making a ton of money though. Our money here is still going up. Like I said, I'm gonna wait for 10 million to do anything. And I've run out of pizza for free energy. All right, so in order to level up now, we need more experience. Probably mostly because I don't really do a lot of actual work. I just do whatever I can to cheat my way through the game. So what does my stupid job give me for stupid experience these days? 25 per $300 an hour. I guess I'll do this until I can find something better. Can I go in this person's house? Mike, what's good? What isn't? He just 
move in next door? No, but yeah. Evelyn on the other side of the street is whack, but Jessica at the end is pretty cool. Thanks for the heads up. You wouldn't happen to be selling a pair watch. Uh, no, but I will certainly buy one for myself if I get one. There we go, level 60. She'll get a big promotion, $400 an hour. Not much in the experience, so that's what I really want. And also strength. So at this point, I'm going to wander around to see if there's any way to cheat these things. I found a helpless old person. Margaret. Hello, young man. What do you want? I can't find my purse. Sounds like there's some free money out there somewhere. I think that darn salesman stole it while he was showing me that self-driving truck. Can you help me find it? Yes, of course. I just love helping the elderly. I found one of the papers that was hidden behind the building that you'll never ever see, so the things you're gonna find in this game are invisible. I found another old person. They probably know each other. I also found a bag of oregano in the dumpster. Pretty sure there was a kid somewhere looking for that. This one, John. What do you got for me? There you go. One bag of oregano. That's the good stuff. Oh, give me the bear. There's the bear. Now, who wanted the bear? Some child, probably? That? Looks like a new present. Five protein? If you find five proteins just sitting on the ground, don't eat them. And a drone in this garbage can. I gotta check out the garbages. There's a bunch of cool stuff in there. Can we break into people's houses from the back? Nope, not allowed to do that. What if you want the teddy bear? My name is Rusty. Don't care. I'm elite. Go away before I take your soul. I'm kidding. What's up? Nothing. Just wanted to say hi. Hi. Do you live around here? Not yet. I am bored. Here, don't eat this yet. Yeah, just have my switch. Sure. That's what I always do. Someone wants something, I'll just give it to him just because. This looks like the kind of person that would want a teddy bear. He wants to sell me a PC for $2,000. You need a house to set it up at. Good thing I already have a house. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. You want a teddy bear? I think I found him. Finn. Yep, got your stupid bear. Can you buy me a video game? I guess. Did you get Golden Bullet? Here you go. Thanks, dude. I like how I already have all this stuff because I just buy my crap whenever I see it. I've turned into a guy with a doctorate. Be someone fetching items for a child. I also still haven't found the old bag's purse and I've been looking everywhere. So it's not till now that I realize this guy can actually sell me all these cool things for money. I will happily take everything he's got because this stuff is huge. This would have saved me so much time before had I known about it. I found one of your pages. Thank you. There are two more. Can you tell me where they are? Because they're not really easy to see. At least our money's almost back up to 10 million. I can see one of her papers now. It's on the other side of the hedge though and I have no idea how to get to that. If only this big rock wasn't in my way. Will this continue being a very helpful guy finding all this crap that people have lost? Eventually things will do work out the way I want them to. My friend Tucker wants rage bars, so I'll go ahead and bring him a few and purchase some more of this for myself. Here you go, my friend. Two rage bars. Sweet. Now I'm almost ready to work out. What's stopping you? I can't work out right now. I just ate those. I need at least 45 minutes. That's for swimming, my friend. No, I'm pretty sure that is general rule for all sports. Well, you do it your way and I'll do it mine. How about that? The ginger at the bus stop wants a beer, so I got him a beer. Hopefully he'll give me something I need for someone else. How about another cold one? All right, I'm going to need to buy a bunch of those. Once he gets super drunk, I'm going to to steal his wallet and his daughter and no reward from him 50,000 for a cookie I feel like this lady's ripping me off and I don't know what 50,000 of what is but there you go have a wonderful day I don't know what just happened oh here's my big house should probably be spending more time sleeping here considering I get all these boosts Tony what do you want I need a pineapple for Tony I don't know where to get that Ken here lost his drone luckily for me I just happened to find one there you go oh and he's got the hat for the kid have we reached 100,000 cookies? I've got to go click the thing. Before I start clicking for Enrique, i got to give this kid his hat. And no mighty helpful reward from him. Clicking time. I get it. I think I have to spend these to click to get coins. I don't know. That's going to take forever to do. I've got miners doing it too, so it's back to the waiting game. I'm going back to the gym to build up my strength to level up for now. And considering the amount of steroids coursing through my system, this shouldn't take too long at all. I wonder if I can use Rage Bars and Super Serum at the same time to get a double bonus. i got to go talk to that shady guy. And what's this? I have something for this guy, Chad. You got a cold one? There you go, Chad. All the drinks you want. I wasn't paying attention, but he's giving me $1,000. You should totally join my frat. That sounds like a great idea. It's right behind me here. So the guy's a cold one and that will get you in. Brad is throwing a rager on a private island. We're calling it the Pyro Festival. $12,000. Yeah, I'm in. That sounds fun. And a girl dropped a weird paper. I need that for what's her name. Cool. A whole bunch of stuff just happened talking to that guy. Mostly that I found Ellie another one of her papers. I know where the last one is. I just need to get behind the frat house. Before I get too carried away with that, I need to buy some rage bars from this idiot. About 100 should work in conjunction with those. We'll get extra extra strength to level up extra extra fast. But I was right. The items do stack. 25 strength per use. All right. To take a break from building up my strength, which is almost up to 5,000 again, I'm going to go around and try and help some people to hopefully get some more stuff that helps me out even more. With the exclusion of you, because you don't do anything. 
demanded the buzzed out ones at game consoles, so I'm gonna bring them one. And you know what? I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch of both, because people just seem to want these sometimes. Uh, wrong console, apparently. I don't know where to buy that one. Good luck with that. If I could just open up these, these will give me a lot of different things. So I'm just gonna open these for a while, collecting a whole bunch of stuff that people are eventually gonna need. I did just get my smartwatch. There's a tablet. Never had one of those before. Someone's gonna want one of those eventually. And a room bot. I have no idea if that's gonna be useful for anything, but I'm gonna give it a try. 14 energy pills. I'm not even sure what those do, but I like it. I still need to get Tony his pineapple. Here's a guy who wants to watch Mike. Yeah, there you go. One watch. $250. How about a tablet? Happen to have one of those too. 8K TV? Sure do. And that's it. Just made money, which I don't need. I got the game console the guy wanted off of Amazon. And we'll take a gold box. Can these even give you anything? No, it's all stuff I can buy now anyway. Here you go, weirdo behind the bus stop. This can't possibly go bad. And all he does is takes us for $250. Found a new guy whose door you can't even see. Walked past it a million times. Quentin, what's up? I just moved in across the street. Not really. Good for you. I have a lot of work to do. What do you do, Quentin? I'm the founder of Newman Clothing. That's super cool. I bought all your crap. Can't wear it though. There's also something here. A briefcase. What does a briefcase do? I want something I can use now. I don't know what any of these items do. I can't find the ones I need. I make $2,000 a day off of this place. I want to live here though. I'm going to evict that guy. Debt? What do you mean debt? Oh, I didn't pay this one off yet. I should go do that. I'm probably back up to about a million, 10 million. Close enough. I'm going to go pay that off because I want to live in the big one. The mansion even comes with the gym. So eventually when I have the thing I need to work out, I won't have to wander all the way to the gym to get strength, hopefully. And let's get rid of this. And now we 100% own this house. It only cost us two and a half million dollars. We can withdraw big money here too. We have 7.4 million left over after that. And I'm going to make sure I have 400,000 on me. Just for, you know, whatever it is I do. When I sleep in the mansion now, I get up at 5 a.m. with 9 out of 10 energy. And then I'm not far from work. It's basically across the street. So I'm going to level up to 65 to see if I get a raise. And level 65, big raise, physical therapist, needed degree, got that, $1,000 an hour though, that's not bad. Here's what I'm gonna do now, since I can't find anyone else to play with and I don't feel like grinding to another 5 levels. We're gonna walk ourselves to the easy mart and start buying lottery tickets. We know from the scratchers that you can win money, spend 5, win 10, occasionally you win more. I want to see how long it takes to win the lottery. I've got $1 million to spend. They cost $1 each. Can we win the lottery just by sheer volume? We'll find out. We won 100 coins. I don't want coins. I want the big bucks. So I'm mostly going to be doing this for the next few hours, presumably. I'll just zone out. There are the audio cues. So when something happens, I'll get my attention and I'll look up and see what we won. We ranked up again. Won 200 coins. Why are we ranking up? I don't know why we're ranking up, but we are. Any minute now. I can feel it. I've just realized I may be doing this wrong. I started out with a little over 1 million, somewhere between 1 million and 1 million 100,000. I have no idea how much I've spent so far. It's a lot. All I'm going to do is put all my money in the bank and take out 100,000. That way it'll be a little bit easier to track just how much we've spent on lottery tickets. Now we can watch the number go down together. There's 5,000 clicks, still not one single win. So what do you think the odds of winning the lottery actually are? Because there's 10,000 clicks and I did start a little bit before that, but we'll call that an even 10,000 attempts. And believe me, this is just as fun as it looks. New plan. Here's what we're going to do now. Pretty much the same thing. But see that? I'm not touching anything right now. For the very first time in my entire life, believe it or not, I've created a macro. So I'm basically just going to sit here and wait. And eventually this is going to win the lottery. Coming up on 20,000 clicks and still haven't won the lottery. Guess I'm not surprised. It is the lottery. But I think I've identified the problem. We're not clicking fast enough. I feel like I've managed to speed things up just a touch. So let's see how much better this is going to be. How much quicker. So one and... Yeah, that's a little bit faster. We'll let this go for a little while. See how many it's going to take to get there. It sounds like it's going really fast, but even that was only about 500. Much faster than it was. This is still going to take a while. It is kind of fun though. Normally when you see things moving this fast, you expect a fire to start somewhere. Just past $50,000 spent. Still nothing. Just hit level 10, whatever that means. 1,000 coin reward. And look at that. We've spent $100,000 on lottery tickets so far. No winners. So here's what we're going to do. As soon as the clock strikes zero, we're going to take ourselves out $900,000, which means our total spending on lottery tickets is going to be a million dollars, depending on when or if we win. And I really just couldn't be more excited. Several hours later, we're coming up on $300,000 spent. Still nothing. After a little bit over $360,000 spent and not a single win, I'm starting to wonder if this is just an unlucky day. There's a lucky class in this game. Random events happen. Luck has to be a factor. It probably changes day to day. I've noticed different things happen on different days. Maybe this was just one of those really bad days. 
Today seems like it might be a good day. I just got a $6,500 bonus seemingly out of nowhere. I'm going to take that as a good sign because I've done a lot of work so far in this game. That was the only time that I can recall where I received a bonus. So let's play some more lottery. Spent almost $100,000. Now on this new day, still nothing. All right, here's the deal. We're down to 329,000. Even though we started this fun little idea at about a million, even a little higher, that means we spent $670,000 so far. The problem is... It's taking a long time to make anything happen. I've won zero dollars so far. Nothing has happened and it's getting very late because this is taking many, many hours. So I'm going to take some money out of my bank, leaving two million dollars in the bank and leaving me with a cool five million dollars. Then we're going to go to sleep, making it a lucky, lucky new day. And then I'm going to go to sleep. The only question now is whether or not we're going to win the lottery before my computer lights on fire. Many, many, many hours later, 1.6 million dollars later, still nothing, not a single win of any kind. Which means I've spent well over 2 million dollars and many hours of my time, all to not win the lottery. 